Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday. It's uh, July 21st. I hope you guys got some great upcoming plans for the week in here, summertime, and uh, things are looking pretty good, um, except for, of course, to the stock market, but we'll touch on that here in a bit. Um, nothing on the economic calendar today. Uh, next week, the big one will be the FOMC meeting. Uh, they are meeting. It's not much expected from that. It's basically zero chance of them raising rates. Uh, what we may hear uh, is maybe on the uh, balance reduction here, the balance sheets that they've been talking about maybe reducing. We might get some uh, ideas as to when they may begin it, maybe in what increments they're looking at starting or, uh, or go about doing it. Uh, so we'll get, hopefully get a little bit more information. That's really what the, uh, what the investors are going to be looking forward to hear from the Fed when they give their announcement next week. So let's jump over to the headline news. So basically today is uh, basically about earnings reports since there's no economic news release scheduled for today. We got a bit of a ec, or I'm sorry, we got a bit of a mixed reports. We have uh, like GE missing, people, you know, climbing up and down. But also because the stock market's been going up for so long, uh, Dow was up I think about 11 days in a row, 10, 11 days in a row, uh, you're, you're starting to see some profit taking here too. So you're going to get some of those um where the market goes up at such levels, and then of course you can get prop taken, it'll come down a little bit, and then they'll start buying again. So this is kind of where we're at uh, with the stock market um, in those terms here. Um, so when I talked about about stock market, that's basically today. This the stock market's down. There's a bit of a profit taking, and again we've got pretty much a mixed news in terms of uh, uh, the the stock market. But mostly, I think you're seeing uh, here is uh, profit taking. Uh, bond market, on the other hand, we're doing quite well. We're seeing that nice trend upward trend we're getting. Uh, we're up currently between nine ba up nine basis points. We're up above the 50-day and 200-day moving average. Here's the 200-day 200 200-day moving average. Here's the 50-day moving average. Uh, starting to get this nice little gain here. Uh, we do have some potential go up another at least another 20 basis points. Uh, so that could help you out with pricing of about almost another quarter point uh, in savings here uh, going. Forward. So I think we will at least get that. We may get a little bit of a pause and then potentially, hopefully we'll get a little bit higher than that. But again, we'll have to kind of wait and see. But this is our chance to get in to some better pricing here. Again, we talked about those crosses, uh, the golden cross for the bonds and the death cross for the treasuries. And uh, this is kind of what we're seeing, but we never know exactly how far it's going to take us on those. So we have to kind of look for clues as to a possible uh, trend reversal. So those are things we have to kind of keep an eye on. So, anyways, uh, pricing's better today. Um, you know, hopefully, we'll. Uh, it's, otherwise, we're kind of expecting a quiet day today. Uh, again, next week we do got the FOMC meeting. Uh, it'll be two days. So, it'll be Tuesday and an announcement on Wednesday. And again, they're looking for any information in regards to uh, the reduction on the uh, balance sheets. Uh, you know, they've been. You know, during the crisis, we had those uh, kind of easing, sort of acquiring all these mortgage-backed securities and treasuries. Uh, they're buying these. Uh, they're loaded up. There's trillions of dollars uh, uh, worth, uh, and there are reserves. Now they're going to try to start unloading those. So uh, hopefully uh, that could, of course, you know, bring rates up a bit as that happens as well. All right, folks, so that pretty much concludes it. But if you guys want to get uh, more updates throughout the day, just come over to Twitter. You can find me at Mike Bjork on Twitter. Uh, I also post up, you know, the close there. I also am a loan officer, so if you guys got questions or anything or need some assistance, I can help you out with your uh, mortgage needs. I help out people with pre-approvals on their purchase side of things, along with, uh, you know, the financing for the transaction. We have a wide variety of uh, loan programs we can help out with uh, for a lot of different needs uh, for and also for people who are looking to refinance. We've got clients that are going from adjustables to a fix. We've got clients that are going from 30-year to 15-year. We've got clients that are simply taking money out of their uh, properties. Uh, I have an investor taking money out to buy more properties. I have another one who uh, wants it tired of looking around for another property, so they're simply just going to take money out of the current residence and just uh, add on to it and uh, make the house bigger for their growing families. So... And then you know, we've seen in the past people uh, doing debt consolidation, paying out the cars, paying out the credit cards, and student loans, stuff like that, uh, with a mortgage. So uh, if you got need some assistance with those, please feel free to reach out. The best way to reach me is uh, via email. Uh, I respond a little bit quicker on email. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.